Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for listening to my talk today. Today, I will talk about unsupervised machine learning hidden markup model for global stock trading. Um, so, the outline of my talk is first, I will introduce the uh, um, hidden markup model, then, I will introduce the uh, global stock markets, then, I will explain how I use the hidden markup model to um, trace stock and present some results. Okay, so first of all, what is the hidden Markov model? Hidden Markov model is stochastic model which assumes that the observation data was driven by some hidden state sequence. The example right here, when I uh, um, present the uh, Apple stock price, so this Apple stock price is the uh, observation data. And the hidden Markov model, we assume that the stock price right here was driven by um, some hidden states, for example, like bull or the bear markets. If the market is strong, then you will, make, you will see the stock price going up. If the market is weak, then you can see like stock price going down, something like this. So the observation denotes by OT and the hidden state denotes by SD. And this model assumes that the hidden process satisfies the first order macro properties. That means the probability of being in states at T at the time T depend on the states at the time t minus one only. And this model assumes that the hidden state variable is the discrete variable. There's some application of hidden Markov model. This model was introduced in 1960s and was first used for the speech recognition and then um, used in bioinformatics, finance, and weather forecast. In my studying, I use the hidden Markov model to solve some problem in finance, and um, I use this model to predict weather also. In the future, I would like to learn more about biomathematics and use the hidden Markov model in this area. This diagram will show you how we use the hidden Markov model uh, to solve the real life problem. So we first collect the observation data. We input the observation data to the hidden Markov model. We change the model to find the parameters for the models. After we find the parameters for the models, then we can find the hidden state sequence right here of the observation data O right here. So in this example, like the um, observation O1 was driven by the state at two, for example. So after we define the uh, parameter for the hidden state model, we can, hidden Markov models, and we can use this model to uh, solve some problems as you interested in. This one is an example of hidden Markov model with two states. When we have two states, S1 and X2, then we have the two by two transition matrix A, we assume that the transition matrix is a constant. And we have the observation probability matrix B, for example, right here, B, B1OT is the probability that we observe the observation at time t. Given that the observation at time t comes from the space S1. And also we have the vector P. Vector P is the probability that um, the first observation will come from space um, S1 or S2. So lambda is the notation for the parameter of the model that consists of two matrix and one vector. 
when you work with the hidden Markov model, normally we will solve the three problems. The first one is given the observation and the parameters, can you calculate the probability of the observations? Yes, you can do it by using the forwards or backwards algorithms. The second problem is given the observation and the model, can you find the hidden state sequence? You can do this by using the beta by algorithms. The last one is the most difficult one, given the observations, can you calibrate the parameter of the model? Um, this problem we can solve by using the bow range algorithms. Uh, an example of the hidden Markov model is a uh, um, ball game. In this game, like a person will like chew a ball from the two different boxes. Okay, the first box have three red ball and one blue ball. The second box have two red ball and three blue balls. This person will randomly chew one box and chew one ball from the box and then replay the ball back to the box and do it again. This person will uh, come out of the screen and so off the color of the ball that he chosen. For example, if he do three times and he saw the color like red, blue, blue, okay? So if you only know the red, blue, blue, can you find the um, parameter for the model? That means you need to find the transition matrix, is find the um, observation probability matrix and find the uh, vector P. Or can you find like, uh, if the box, the first ball will come from box one or box two. The second ball comes from box one or box two. That means you find the hidden state sequence. Okay, so this one is a good example of the hidden Markov model. If you want to um, have more detail about this example and all the algorithms and applications of this model, you can go to the um, Society of Actuaries um, to find my papers. In this paper, you also can find the package of our course that you can download and apply this um, hidden Markov model to um, do some uh, fun thing like predict stock price or finding the hidden um, sequence of some observation. Now I will um, explains how I use the hidden Markov model for robot stock trading. So first, what is the all country was indexed ACWIs. The ACWIs was developed and maintained by Morgan Stanley Capital International. It consists of large and mid cap representation across the 23 developed markets and 24 emerging markets countries. It has about like 2,500 stocks. This number will change each year because each year we, we will have some new stock joins the all countries was indexed. This pie chart so is the distribution of ACWI by regions. So look at the chart, you can see that US is the biggest um, market in the ACWI. It's considered of like 24.47%. And the smallest is Canada, which is 3.86% of all the ACWI. The second graph so is the distribution of ACWI by sectors. There's many sectors, and the biggest sector is financial sectors, which is 17.57%. Um,
the process of using the hidden Markov model to trace the global stack is um, present in this slide. So first, we need to um, find the observation data for the model. Okay, so the observation data in this um, example is um, as the global economic indicators. Uh, we find six global economic indicator to put in this hidden macro model and then find the hidden regime of these six um, global economic indicator right here. And then we can analyze five factor of X uh, global stock uh, based on the performance of these factors on the hidden regime of the global economic indicator right here. And then we define the composition score of X stack. We rank them from zero to 100 and we choose a 10% of the highest score of the stack in this global stack to put in our portfolio and um, try keep for a month and then we will like repeat the process. Uh, the five global stack indicators, they are the inner indicators. Um, this is defined by the free cash flow, enterprise value, earning price, sale enterprise, long-term share growth, long-term earning per share growth. And the six global economic indicators as inflation, production, sentiments, markets, debt, inflation, expectation. This graph shows you the performance of six global economics indicators. So you see in some time periods, right here we have the opposite performance, this inflation up and the production go down, okay? So first we will use the hidden Markov model to determine the hidden state of X of Z6 global economics indicators. So this graph show you the state of the indicator sentiments. So in this graph, we only use the two states. State one like have the name regime one, state two have the name regime two. So we define regime two and regime one by the mean and standard deviation of the two corresponding normal distributions. So um, regime one is a regime that has smaller mean divided by standard deviation of the distribution. So the um, data analysis right here so use a uh, mean and standard deviation of the two regime two and the mean and standard deviation of the real data and they um, fit very well. You can see that in the economic crisis periods in 2008 and 2010s, this model captured the regime one right here. This is a recession regime. Similar to the other global indicator, we define the regime for the um, indicator right here. This one is a war inflation and it shows the regime one in the, between the 2009 and 2010 and the other time period too. Okay, so after we define the regime of X of the six global indicator, economic indicators, we analyze the performance of the five factor of X stock in Z regimes to define the weighted for X stock indicators. So we have five stock indicators and we can define the weighted for X stock right here. 
Um, the reason we want to find the weighted factor because we want to com um, compute the weighted score. The weighted score we compute by we take the weight, multiply with the score, and add them together. We have the weighted score for x star. And we range from like the score from zero to one hundred. When we then we can choose the ten percent of the uh, stocks that have the highest score. We then compare the performance of our model with the uh, like the model that you only single factor. For example, you only the a uh, price. Um, um, the five percent, for example. So this graph so use our um, portfolio performance using the hidden Markov model. So we scale the number to have like the investment of one hundred in two thousand five, and at the end of the two thousand seventeen, we will have the uh, total three hundred. Um, 16 that means the return is about more than 200 percent compared with the uh, worst index is about like 170 which is the returns of 70 percent from 2005 to 2017 so our portfolios um, give the much higher returns compared with the for was index. So this graph is the performance of the global trading using only the one factors. This is using the sale enterprise factors. It has the better returns compared with the whole world index, but it's not high like when we use the hidden Markov model. So this one is a graph so use the uh, trading using only the long term earn per share growth factors is almost the same with the overall index. And this one is the uh, one that presents the performance of the trading portfolios using the equal weighted factors. What is the equal weighted factors? It is a matter that they calculate the score of x factor of a stock. So we have total five factors. You take the mean of the score of the five factors, you have the equal weighted uh, matters. Then we choose the top 10% of the highest performance or highest score of the uh, global stock um, markets to put in the portfolio. So you see that when you use the equal weighted factors, this means you don't use a hidden Markov model. You almost have the same return as the whole world index, okay? So in conclusions, using the hidden Markov model for global stock tradings um, will give uh, us more returns compared with a single factor model or equal weighted model that most of the investors use nowadays. So it is a good um, example of the application of hidden Markov model in finance that I present. Thank you so much. If you um, want to learn more about this model, an example and using the R code to practice, you can go to the link in the SOA to find my paper and the code to play with. Thank you so much. Bye bye.